the big challenge with trying to explain to anybody what is it like to drive a land speed record car. Um, and I'll quote the late great Art Arfons, multiple record breaker of the 1960s, first, one of the first men to 600 miles an hour. And he said, describing that is a bit like telling you what the taste of chocolate is like. He said, if you've never had a bar of chocolate, I'm really going to struggle with this. I've got the advantage of having been a, uh, a fast jet pilot in the Royal Air Force. You know, I still work full time, sadly now in an office, but I still think about flying fast jets all the time. Um, that's a unique background. I understand the speed, the technology, the jet engines going supersonic, but being on the ground, instead of being at 10,000 feet going supersonic, being this far above the ground going supersonic is an incredible experience. The world comes at you at a speed I genuinely can't describe because I have never seen anything else like it. And that was for the previous record back in 1997. This car is going to be 35% faster and it's going to accelerate twice as fast. So from a standing start, Bloodhound, two minutes later, will be stationary at the other end of a track, 12 miles away. I can't begin to imagine what that's like. Ask me again at the end of next year and I'll tell you.